Hello everyone, this is Becky from What Becky Did Last Night. Today is, what is the date today? It is the 28th of March and Kirby Roseanne's latest book, Alien Worlds, has just uh, been released. So um, the lovely Amazon man has delivered uh, my copy for me, so let's have a flip through together. Um, this is my first Kirby, Ro Kirby Roseanne's book. Um, I've been a little bit daunted. I've been looking forward to this, but I've been a little bit daunted because of the amount of detail in Kirby's books. Um, but when I saw there was an alien one coming out, then that had my name all over it. So let's take a flip through and see what we've got. So first of all, cool cover. It's got a nice texture to it. All right, so even your title plate, you could color in, cool spaceship. Double page spread for this book belongs to. There's some cool consoles. Okay, and just in case there's a difference in international editions, um, I've got the plume version, uh, plume penguin random house edition. So again, even making full full use of the illustrations here, you could color those in. So do some swatching, testing out what you want to use. Same for the contents page. So use these pages to try out some techniques or new pencils and bits and pieces. And now we're getting into the artwork. So I'll go quite steady through here. Um, I won't stop on each page. Oh. <laughs> um, for me, I think I'm going to use, experiment a lot with water-based uh, mediums in this for the simple reason that um, it's a bit of a shortcut for coloring, especially for base layers. So where you have all of these details, um, it could be a bit of a time saver. I do enjoy coloring, but I also have a very short attention span. So that's my style, is to try and um, reach a completed page without me losing interest. This guy's so cool. I love this elephant. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these fun things. So if you're a gamer um, and you play, there's some games that I'm thinking of that remind me of um, some of the animals in here. Also the Avatar movies. So definitely with the extra eyes, I'm getting those vibes. So when I'm thinking of what kind of color palettes I'm gonna use on this, I may, there's definitely gonna be some spreads that I'm gonna pull in the color palettes from Avatar and some of my favorite Alien World games. I mean, look at this. <laughs> That's a flower. Kirby, where do you get your inspiration from? And can I spend 20 minutes in your head, please? <laughs> These little naked dudes are pretty cool. <laughs> so yeah, you're gonna have lots of fun with that. Sky Islands, very cool. Huge planet or a star or something. Ooh, with smoky, cloudy stuff, you could bring in your pastels here. Do some cool stuff there. <laughs> this guy, wow. Okay, so that spaceship got legs. I think that spaceship can walk. <laughs> this little tiny man, I am going to have to... Right, well, let me show you a pencil. Let me take... Let me take one of my polychromos. Okay, it could be a little bit more sharpened, but just to give you a size comparison, um, I'm probably going to be using a, a pin to uh, color that little, little astronaut in. Mm, maybe that's me. Look at these. Nice, thick cardstock. Well, paper stock, but nice and thick. Very soft. There's a little bit of tooth you can feel. 
Um, so it's not ice rink smooth by any means. Look at these. Very cool. I mean, you've got like sort of like a butterfly thing going on here. You could do some cool, get some inspiration from nature for that one. I mean, look at this guy. Okay, so I'm going to skip on this page because I'm fine with that page, but I know there. Oh, maybe I should have done trigger warning. There may be some imagery that if you have a certain issue with seeing holes in things, you may not want to get this book. But if you're a bit of a bit of a weirdo like me, and you love your sci-fi and your spacey stuff, and your trippy and psychedelic out of this world imagery then this is going to be the one for you. Oh, look at these hands. Very cool. <laughs> now, I didn't think I'd say this, but look how simple this one is. So you can take a break when you're doing your crazy intricate ones. If you wanted to do those as crystals or some sort of reflective, shiny material, then, um, yeah, take take a vacation off work. You're gonna you're gonna be a while. Again, you got more smoky stuff going on here, so that'll be cool to bring in some softer effects there. I mean, the detail is phenomenal. Okay, so these pages. Oh no. Okay, is the same page. This I'm noticing is an issue across quite a lot of my. Um, big author coloring books it's not the author's fault it's the publishers they're binding these images far too tightly in here and I can live with it because it's a coloring book but I don't know may maybe we can you know publishers let's put a little bit of pressure on the publishers just to try and you know not print right up to the edge for double page spreads otherwise we're just gonna have to um, carry on making do this has got to be so cool that's, you know that's a really really nice composition I love how everything is just traveling you get a really good sense of movement so you know these are your challenges as a colorist how are you going to color this to keep that sense of movement you know lots of horizontal um, lines I guess <laughs> cute Oh, you're going to have water themes. You can either color this so it's sticky stuff or, or wet stuff. Your choice. <laughs> a big old black hole. Is that a planet going down? And this is water, maybe? That's pretty cool. Yeah, you're going to get lost in here. That's a lot of teeth. So yeah, so looking at things like this, initially I'm thinking maybe come in with the watercolor pencils for the finer point and then add in your pencils on top for, you know, adding to the depth of the coloring and adding the details in. But knowing me, I'm, I'm probably just going to throw everything at this book like I normally do. Very cool. Um, what would you even call that? Some sort of space station. Maybe those are spinning round. It's probably their uh, cable TV or something, you know. I'm not even halfway through this book. This is really cool. It's like the deck of a space carrier. Another little dude here. Maybe that one's me. I might just pretend that I'm every astronaut in this book. Yeah, that's cool. If you like your Meccana kind of like robot -y stuff. Very cool. Some alien that just basically has a giant eyeball for a face. 
probably comes from a dark planet that he needs a big eyeball like that. Cool. I'm probably just going to say, point to each page now and just say it's cool, cool. Ooh, okay. Now if that's a glass dome, have fun with that. Make that, color that so that you can see that's a translucent glass dome. That, that's going to be fun. That's um, kind of what I do is I take a page and I try and find what new textures or techniques can I bring in? What, you know, what kind of coloring illusions can I add to a page to make it, um, you know, to make it interesting, not just for me, but, you know, when I share with people and they're like, whoa, that's cool. It's, it's usually because I've tried to do something a little bit out of the box with it. So, for example, um, you could just color these rocky or you could make this one a glowing orb of some description and then you can try and have um, your, your areas around it reflecting that light so you're going to have the glow hitting on the edges here and then you're going to have you know a nice dark sky but it's going to be lighter closer to this you know that's just how my brain is already firing off. Add a little whooshing thing. Maybe he's going to go. It's probably me again. This is probably some really expensive rare mineral and I'm probably just flying off to go and um, harvest that. Go mining. <laughs> is, <laughs> is this like some sort of fungusy mushroom dude? Because that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> this one looks a little surprised. I don't think I like these ones. I'm just going to hide over here. Um, probably have some regrets at this point. I'm probably calling the spaceship to come pick me back up again. More animals. And there is something super cute about the animals. But what's happening to your buddy? Oh no, it's getting eaten by a giant plant. Carnivorous plants. Well, okay, so... Let's get the joke out of the way. How do you know a vegan's a vegan? Don't worry, they'll tell you. So as a vegan, <laughs> I'm looking at this picture thinking, ah, this may not be the planet for me. If that's what the plants do to the other animals, might not be, might not be for me that one. We have some sort of dactyls over here, alien types. So if you like, you know what? I've been, what, uh, blah, blah, blah. let me try and get my words out. I'm just excited. Okay, I have been, trying to find like an adult coloring book with a dinosaur theme slash whimsical dinosaur style and I'm sure somebody's had a go at making one and it exists somewhere in the in the internet somewhere I can't find one um, but I also don't know if I would what it would look like particularly because if it just looked like regular dinosaurs um, I don't know if I could survive a whole book of that but I'm finding in absence of my impossible wish list um, dinosaur book that the creatures in here have got quite, quite a lot of them giving me like dinosaur vibes. Oh, are those eggs? Oh, is that the queen? Okay, this one, very different style obviously, but I'm getting uh, Queen Xenomorph vibes. another planet or star or something ooh, got a ooh. so would I treat that as a moon maybe that's a moon orbiting this one yeah that could be a moon orbiting because these could be solar flares going off here really good speed on that one you can tell that that's got some speed on it just the way it's drawn more oozy right okay this one's cool right you have got a choice here haven't you because you've obviously got the the hot in the back and this could be wet or steam you could either do a like contrasting hot and cold thing going on here or you can make everything fiery and hot and really go for it on this one. Oh, oh yeah look i mean flames hello this is going to be a hot page <laughs> but what's this guy up to they're not bothered. I mean, look, everything's going down here. 
we got a lot of issues on this planet and you know they're just just getting on happy or angry hmm. oh yeah okay right <laughs> there I go look running away not too happy all right this one's just vibing this one's realized maybe this is a problem these ones are chill. Oh, that, that's quite striking. So how would you do that? I 